Explosive welding, a high-speed impact welding process. In explosive welding, the contact surface of the two materials to be welded, usually metals, are first made smooth and flat through a variety of processes, including sanding. Then, the thicker of the two materials is placed down. This is the substrate or base plate. Small pieces of the first or second material, called spacers, are then placed or screwed into the base plate. Now, the second material to be welded is placed on top of the spacers. This is called the flyer plate. This is followed by a buffer sheet and finally, the explosive powder. The buffer sheet is used to protect the flyer plate from the explosive force. The spacer is used to create a separation distance between the two materials before the welding process begins. The setup is now complete and we can begin the welding process. The explosive is ignited at a corner. Immediately at that corner, the explosive force will start forcing the flyer plate towards the base plate. Since the flyer plate is separated from the base plate by the spacer, it will be accelerated towards the base plate at a high speed, about 1,000 meters per second. In addition, the flyer plate will be deformed as the rest of it, which is not yet affected by the explosion, remains stationary and separated from the base plate by the spacer. This causes the flyer plate to impact the base plate at an angle. The angled collision creates debris which forms into a jet that is forced outwards from the collision point. This jet cleans the contact surface on both plates of oxide layers and other impurities, preparing them for bonding. As the explosive front moves forward, more of the flyer plate will be forced into the base plate, but this time, the contact surface are conditioned for the impact to create a strong bond. The combination of the angled impact force and the force of the debris jet causes the new formed bond to acquire a wavy shape. 